Hey guys, so in today's uh, quick tip, what I'll show you is how to set up Maya properly, uh, namely setting up environment variables. So uh, you do not use the default location that Maya ins uh, installs it in. Um, reason being, uh, sooner or later, something will break inside Maya. Uh, it could be a corrupted file or a corrupted camera or something. And uh, if you have things set up this way, that means you won't have to uh, remake your custom shelves uh, then uh, setting up your custom marking menus hotkeys uh, your scripts and all that so uh, this is a more rounded thing about not just environment variables but how to uh, sort out data in that particular folder so uh, without further ado let's uh, get into that So over here, uh, first things first, what you need to do is um, go to your Windows uh, main explorer and right click on this PC and hit properties, right? That will open this menu, uh, about menu. I've scrolled it down because uh, you will see Windows license information up there and obviously I don't want people to be seeing my license keys and all. But uh, anyways, you scroll down and click on advanced system settings and go to environment variables. Down here, what you want to do is a new variable and I already have this so I'm gonna click on edit so it's called Maya app dir right and then uh, put it somewhere anywhere but your C documents and settings because uh, let's say you have a Windows crash or something uh, it's a huge mess right so um, that is point number one so once you do that what it will do is by default your window uh, Maya settings will be in a place like this so C users username documents Maya 2018 and um, once you set this Maya environment variable up in my case it's in this Maya uh, uh, sorry it's in preferences and um, so if you see this environment variable it points to this preferences and uh, next time you start Maya it will auto load all these guys it will auto uh, automatically create that right uh, you need to hit ok I'm just cancelling out of this so uh, that's the only environment variable that you need to put it into Windows uh, uh, advanced system uh, variables thing right so now uh, let's go over my personal setup so what I have is I have a folder called pipeline um, which also have synced it with Google Drive so uh, uh, you can use Dropbox or whatever, right? But uh, I have this folder as Active Sync, so uh, I have things sorted by software, so 3ds Max, Houdini, Maya, Nuke, and then my color management stuff is there, which is basically ACES in there. Uh, my asset pipeline is in there. Uh, you may or may not want it, but uh, anyways. So going into Maya side of things, uh, what I have is, uh, these are my old backups of uh, preferences. But then I have a folder called custom shelves and this is where I share, uh, keep my custom shelves. So uh, should I need to delete this folder which is in preferences right and 2018 let's say Maya got corrupted I can just close my eyes and almost almost delete it I would copy few things from that which I'll show you. Um, second thing uh, another folder which I have uh, under my pipeline soft Maya is downloaded scripts so what I do is uh, any script that I download uh, they go in their own respective folders like ACS utility comet tools uh, rapid rig and then there's a folder called open scripts any scripts which are like single scripts like zoom rate or uh, like one of these guys right file texture manager then I keep them here where there is no icons and subfolders associated so that's what I have then I have something called pipe scripts, which is basically pipeline scripts. And I've put my user setup.mil there. Um, any other pipeline stuff that I'll be creating is gonna go in this folder, that's why it exists. So opening this user setup.mil file, all I'm doing is sourcing the scripts. So as soon as my loads, they are instantly available. So if you see my downloaded scripts and open scripts, I have those three in there. Zoom rate and deadline Maya client. Comet scripts came with its own zip 
right and that's extracted here and if I see here that's comment menu dot mail and it will read that in now um, apart from the folder structure that I've set up so uh, it, it it's just easier to maintain things let's say there is an upgrade to a script I can just extract things in here and replace the old ones and it would be done right so uh, it's a good uh, management thing as well now uh, going to preferences because uh, we set up that uh, environment variable in Maya now this is like my documents in C drive but only it's in my E drive now um, so going to 2018 and if I open my Maya environment file now most of you guys you may or may not have this my environment file or it might be empty now in my case when I uh, certain plugins write to environment uh, file okay so in this case uh, point being redshift has uh, written uh, a lot of it uh, and the way to set this up is you put uh, Maya shelf path which is over here uh, let me make this a bit bigger and a little bit bigger like this as well so you can see so I've set up Maya shelf path is equal to then that's my path okay another thing if you see this Maya script part uh, which is another uh, really cool one and from which things are being uh, worked upon so my script path redshift wrote its own thing but if you see uh, to put a new path all you have to do is put a semicolon like this right so over there and then put your new path so in this case uh, I have pipeline scripts download scripts comment it goes to that folder which resonates here right so download scripts comment and then it will read scripts from this file uh, same thing with this so uh, uh, this one uh, points to my open scripts path and if I scroll a bit to the right uh, I have my pipe scripts where I have kept my user setup drug mill. Uh, um, if you are using python then you might want to add to python path. Another uh, main one is this strange looking name xbml xbm lang path. Uh, so uh, this is where your icons go okay and uh, if I put a colon there because uh, my comet tools have icons so I'll just go in there and just copy that path and actually paste it in over here and put a semicolon to end that line as well and uh, these guys came with uh, redshift so uh, let's save this environment variable file now uh, one thing uh, to be cautious about right uh, if you are working in a big, big studio mostly your technical director or studio pipeline would have written things to this uh, uh, like a custom environment file there is a high probability in that case uh, go and talk with your technical director to uh, set up few things for you if you need uh, this is more so for home use uh, or if you are running a small studio and you are a technical director yourself right uh, because you don't want to set up all this uh, stuff again and again uh, should you need to delete uh, the default Maya folders which are created right so uh, be careful about what you put in this file mostly if it's empty then just close your eyes and uh, you can even put Maya plugin path, uh, Maya plugin path uh, and uh, put colon and uh, uh, just put it in right wherever the folder is so you can have uh, something similar we did with the scripts you can have one for uh, like we have for comic tools and then uh, that download open folder thing right so open scripts so uh, once this is done uh, you are all set my friends uh, if you saw my environment variable file I had a custom shelf path right by default uh, here's one gotcha uh, when you create a new shelf in Maya by default it will go to this folder so you need to cut and paste it to your path once uh, once you have made your shelf uh, save preferences exit out of my and then cut paste it into your new path custom shelves so this is where I've kept my custom shelves right so like that uh, and I can show that to you so let's load up Maya and I will go back to 
preferences well Maya Lords and come in here and go to preferences and shelves okay uh, this is all good it will read uh, also you need to make sure that uh, if a shelf exists in this folder with the same name it will load the shelf from this one first rather than the other one so uh, that's my almost loaded it's still loading the plugins but as you can see it read my custom shelf from my other folder so it's over here then my deadline shelf is there uh, it's got the paths i've got my search cast okay it's loading something now again uh, this i just made it as a test right so let me do one thing is if i make my a bit small and you'll see this deleted shelves. Uh, you can just remove dot deleted from the back and uh, the shelf will come up. Uh, but in this case, I don't need to because uh, these shelves are there. So yeah, uh, so let's create a new shelf. I just wanted to show you guys that. So I'll keep this here and click on this and say new shelf and I'll call it test, right? Uh, test shelf. S H E L F, right? And if I press Control Enter and maybe I want uh, blend shape cluster, let's say I'm using those things, right? If you see here now, you'll see test shelf which came up. So all you need to do is go uh, save the preferences, right? I close out of Maya, don't save. So uh, that's gone, right? So if I take my test shelf and bring it out so I'll just come out all the way here and I'm gonna keep it outside for now just to prove that the test shelf is not there so if I open my again so while my is loading uh, let's talk about preferences right so if you go into preferences uh, 2018 now I couldn't find the environment variables for these particular things I'm sure there must be something but uh, I'm not aware of that one thing I usually do is I copy my uh, hotkeys from here and uh, second thing is marking menus so uh, I call my marking menus menu sedge cast so I'll just copy this <coughs> or even the best thing you can probably do is once you have set up my other way you want the colors and all that uh, as you can see i have like this custom color for the grid and whatnot just take the whole thing and uh, create an archive right uh, so i do archive and uh, zip rar whatever right and just store it so and you can keep this somewhere in your backup folder so and if things uh, get broken you can always come in and uh, unzip it over there right so uh, I'm not gonna do that because uh, I have my working one which is there and um, so okay so uh, yeah going back to prefs uh, you want to copy your hotkeys marking menu uh, window states maybe not because it's not so hard to fix it and a lot of times uh, it is your windows uh, window that might get corrupted right so i've seen corruption happen on this window states uh, script editor temp uh, if you have uh, any scripts uh, in here like if you have like mail or python code and you haven't saved it that gets uh, saved in script editor temp so you might want to copy that over before deleting that folder and uh, scripts uh, we are not gonna keep scripts here anymore right uh, shelves uh, we obviously move that shelf and um, uh, window preferences uh, you can copy user preferences dot mil but uh, there is sometimes uh, you get this error where uh, your camera if you try to hit f for frame objects uh, it will just show nan values if you check it in your channel box and uh, it gets corrupted no matter what you do uh, you cannot i mean almost it becomes impossible to frame into things and all that that's when you need to mostly delete user preferences.mil and it regenerates that <coughs> 
if you have custom colors like i uh, i have this custom colors if you have set that up then user colors dot mail is a good one to back up and um, i think that is about it on this one so if i come to maya and open this as you can see there is no that temp shelf that we created right it's not there and if i close my again and uh, let's get our uh, take this guy i'll cut that and custom shelves uh, is my on yep paste that in and if i load my again the shelf will be there so so uh, my is loaded as you can see the shelf is there everything is safe and sound a uh, couple of sites which i would like to show is these two so i'll link them in the description below it has a long list of environment variables that you can use for maya and the other one is this one uh, here again uh, they have gone over uh, setting things up and also if you scroll all the way down uh, they have shown how to use my path environment variable like setting your custom path and then do all this so uh, whatever you feel is helpful but again there is a good list of uh, environment variables in there right so thank you for watching this video i hope it was helpful to you and uh, if you like the video please hit the like button if you dislike it hit dislike please consider subscribing uh, to this channel it's free and it helps me grow a little bit and uh, also you get notifications uh, hit the bell icon if you want that if you have any suggestions uh, for future topics or something you want to ask uh, please feel free to put it in the comments below as well thank you for watching